What is up, people? It's your boy, that guy, Ike. You're checking out another episode of One Race Lifestyle. And uh, today, we're going to be talking about this right here. It's a Bluetooth intercom headset. Like, literally, that's what it says. Bluetooth intercom headset. Let's go to the intro. All right, so first off, thank you, everybody, for rocking with me. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe thumbs up and bell for notifications. You can always follow me on all social media at uh, One Race Lifestyle on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. So make sure you go ahead and check me out there for some exclusive footage. And we are almost at 1K. Right now we're a little bit over 900 subs and to get the 1K, it's gonna take your help. So please, again, make sure you click that subscribe. Let's just go ahead and get into this Bluetooth headset and I'll tell you more about why I got it, what it does, and all that stuff, all right? All right, so first things first. Me personally, I do not like to listen to music while I ride motorcycles. I think on a motorcycle is probably the last place that you wanna have yourself not paying attention at. You always wanna make sure that you're alert and aware of your surroundings, but to each their own, not knocking people that like it. That is not the reason why I got this Bluetooth headset. The actual reason why I got it is because I have some more things that are coming up with the channel, so it's gonna be in handy for that. And also, I absolutely hate, hate, hate when I'm going somewhere and I have to try to figure out where I'm going so I have to constantly keep stopping to look at my phone to look at directions or whatever and so with this Bluetooth headset I can just go ahead and listen to my GPS and the helmet so I got this on Amazon um, it came out the $50 and like 60 cents so roughly $50 flat um, there's a whole bunch of different ones of these that you can possibly get um, you can either get this one uh, some people will pop for the for the center or the Cardo Pack Talk, and there's more expensive ones and things of that nature. I'm not into all that stuff. Everybody knows I vlog on a budget. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a beanies and weenies budget right now, so I went ahead with this one, 50 bucks. I've seen a lot of good reviews on it, so I went ahead and checked it out. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box and let's show you what's inside. All right, so this is the box right here. Comes in a regular white box, of course. It came via Amazon. It's a pretty sturdy box. It's nice and solid. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. When you open the box, you will have the uh, communication device, which is that right there. Let me see if I can get a closer, a better close up of it. Uh, that'd be it right there, the communications device. And then you'll have some other stuff over here. And let's see, let's go ahead and open that up. You got a plug for your charger to charge it. You are gonna have some accessories, which I will go through these in a second. And also again, the actual communication device. It's really light, it feels pretty sturdy. It's rubber enclosed, so that way it's, it's waterproof, so you can use it in all weather. So I like that as well. You got the user's manual, and let's be real, who's gonna be using that? And then you got this down here, which is the actual headset and the headphones. So this is the microphone that's gonna go in the helmet. And these are the headphones right here to it. These are going on the sides of the helmet and they feel pretty sturdy. So they have a pretty nice weighted magnet on them uh, for the headset speakers. And this goes, this will just be fished through the helmet. Now, just really quick, I do already have a microphone within my helmet. Um, it is a Purple Panda lapel microphone. That's what I use for vlogging. That's still gonna stay in there, and I believe if I'm not mistaken, it is on the left side of my helmet. This microphone will go on the right side of my helmet, so that way I can still utilize both while I'm vlogging or if I need to talk or whatever. So here you have some accessories, like I said before. This plug right here is like if you want to use a walkie-talkie setup for like you Harley people that have these walkie-talkie communica communicators. That's what that is for. You can either utilize Velcro to stick the communicator. Let me go ahead and get it out of its foam and casing. You can either use Velcro to stick the communicator onto your helmet, which that is this right here, or you can actually use a clamp, which is what I would probably use because I don't like sticking Velcro on my helmets. It's just my preference. If you don't mind doing it, then that's totally fine. But me, I hate sticking GoPro stickies, Velcros, or anything on my helmet. So there you go. So I will probably end up using this one. 
and this goes once it's on your helmet of course it will go in there like that and it pretty much just locks into place as so you'll hear it snap into place and it locks into place like that and it'll be stuck on the side of your helmet it'll go on the left side of my helmet like that or whatever so so that's that and it also has screws on the back so you can loosen the clamp so it comes with a little screwdriver slash allen key what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the helmet and I'm gonna take it out on the street and ride around and I wanna see how it sounds, get a feel of it, uh, see how it does with the street noise and things of that nature. But you can pair this up to three devices. Um, so if you are one of those riders that ride in a group or with other people, you can pair it with other devices. I probably won't do that because I usually ride by myself. Um, it does have FM radio on it so you can listen to FM radio. Um, it does stream your phone so you can take phone calls on it. You can do uh, your GPS on it, which is mainly what I got it for. And these are the buttons. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy to utilize. You have a power button right there. You have a plus, which is a volume up, volume down, and then you have a phone button right there. And that's pretty much it. If you double tap the phone button, that actually turns on the FM radio. So it's a pretty, very easy system to use. I can't wait to hear how it sounds. Let's go ahead and get it in the helmet, which is a super easy install. You're just sticking the, um, you're sticking the headphones up by the ears of your helmet and running a microphone in it, dumb easy. And we're gonna go ahead and jump on the bike and we'll see how it sounds, all right? Let's go. I sound kind of far away? Yeah, my boss is far away. How about now? Okay. Cause I'm trying, I'm trying to test out this um, headset thing, so I was trying to figure out how it sounded. So just stay on with me for a little bit. Please. So just stay on the phone with me for a little bit, okay? Uh, okay. All right. And you said I sound far. Yeah. Okay. Do you hear the bike at all, like in the background? No. Okay. All right, hold on, give me a second. I'm over here by Avalon. It probably it probably sounds kind of hollow because I'm in a helmet. But how does it sound now? Still, still the same, but you can hear me though, right? Okay, because I... Okay, all right, because I, I can hear you perfect. So that, that's all I was just trying to test to see how it sounds. I'm recording, by the way, um, vlogging. So I was just trying to see how it sounds in the helmet and stuff like that. All right, thank you. Thank you, my love. I love you. Thank you for being a part of, thank you for being a part of my vlog, One Race Lifestyle. <laughs> Bye. So, I don't know if you guys can hear the music or not, but the phone call with my wife, it sounded really good. I actually got the music on right now. It's Jay-Z, Hard Knock Life. <laughs> But um, the music sounds good. It's not super duper loud. So I don't know if you can hear it in the helmet. Um, the phone call, I can hear my wife perfectly clear. She said it sounded like I was a little bit far away. And it could be because of the shape of the helmet. It's an oval shape, so it sounds like I'm in a dome. Um, so that could possibly be it. But other than that, man, for 50 bucks, it's not bad. I can hear it on the bike. You know, even with riding the bike, I can hear the, the music pretty good. Loud enough to where it's not blocking, you know, my senses of hearing what's around me which as i already said earlier in the video i really don't like having um you know music playing while i ride the bike but for now we're gonna see how it is you know what i mean we got a little bit of hard knock life right now from jay-z going on but um i think it sounds good it's not super duper loud it sounds perfect so i'm gonna stop again i'm gonna show you how it looks on the helmet how i mounted it with the clip once i get to my destination and uh we'll go from there so just in case you couldn't hear me with the helmet on because I don't think I had my uh, road mic plugged up but anyway the headset sounds dope I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below as you can see I'm out here just enjoying some of blue beautiful Florida weather but uh, the headset sounds dope I'll put a link in the description below um, you should check it out my wife did say it sounded kind of far away when she was speaking to me but she could hear me clearly even on the bike even at high speeds even changing gears she can hear it um, I could hear her perfectly there was no issue with it the music sounds good it's not like super duper loud but as I said before I don't want loud music while riding a motorcycle I probably won't even listen to music that much but 
it has been pretty enjoyable the last few minutes but i'm not a big music person while riding so but uh other than that man make sure you check it out if it's a headset that you might like or if you're looking for something like that like a communication device go ahead and check it out it's pretty dope it was super inexpensive like i said it was only 50 bucks so you can't go wrong with that and this is how it looks on the side of the helmet right there that's it on the side and it's i used the clamp i didn't use the velcro i prefer the clamp so that way if i get a new helmet i can just take it off and put it on a new one and again i don't like putting velcro on my helmet so we're gonna go ahead and finish enjoying this beautiful florida day i'm out here at the lake i'm saying i got my bike right there behind me you know how i do and uh yo everybody be safe be blessed and make sure you subscribe to the channel we are almost at 1k so we can only get the 1K by you subscribing to the channel. And I appreciate everybody for rocking with me. Thank you for your support. We're going to keep bringing you some dope vlogs. Peace out.